In this video, we'll go over all of Wild News from the past week and try to compress it into a bite-sized video. This week's weekly event is Bonus Battlegrounds. Win four battlegrounds and get the weekly reward. Honestly, unless you're a PvPer who does battlegrounds for funsies, you can just skip it. If you want to casually farm honor for the pet or cosmetic rewards, you're better off just doing the Warden Tower World Quest every day. That being said though, the PvP brawl for this week is Brawl Deep 6. It's basically just a rotation of three battlegrounds with only six people instead of the normal amount, with less objectives to obtain. And they all go very quickly and do count towards the BGs needed for the battleground event. So honestly, this is a pretty easier way to grind out the four wins for the BG Weekly if you really wanted to do it since each battleground only lasts 10 to 15 minutes on average, which is a lot shorter than normal. This week on Thursday is WoW's 13th anniversary. What this means for us in-game is usually a buff that lets you get around 10% extra experience and rep for the duration. It'll probably be 13% since it's WoW's 13th anniversary since the past two years, it was 11% and 12%. Uh, and sometimes a cosmetic item or a pet. More details in next week's news video since they don't usually tell us what they're doing with it ahead of time. Blizzard announced a release date for the novel Before the Storm for June 2018, which takes place in between Legion and Battle for Azeroth. Very similar to the book War Crimes, it should go into detail on what happened to bridge the gap from Legion to Battle for Azeroth and let us know who attacked first. But based on some Q&As from BlizzCon, it's most likely Horde attacked Teldrassil first. Also, since the release date is halfway into the new year, that does not bode well for an early release date of the next expansion. Seeing as War Crimes was released six months before Warlords of Draenor came out, and the Illidan novel was released about five months before Legion, if the trend continues, we probably won't see Battle for Azeroth for another year at the least. And with the last raid tier being planned to drop at the end of this month, we're looking at another year-long content drought, unless Blizzard is super fast on the new expansion, or if they have something else planned after Antorus, which is highly unlikely. Blizzard introduced some fixes to world PvP. First off, all non-tank specs will now just take 40% less damage from enemy players while engaged in world PvP. Next up, Blizzard nerfed a bunch of high burst legendaries so that rogues and DKs can no longer just one-shot groups of players, including a bunch of other class legendaries and one normal trinket. With these changes, it seems like you'll be a lot less likely to be one-shot randomly out of nowhere. Which is good, since I don't think world PvP has ever been this unbalanced before. And with that, I'll see you all next week.